We could have events in the future where the power grid will go down and it's not in any reasonable time coming back on. For instance, if when the power grid went down, uh, some of our large transformers were destroyed, damaged, beyond use. Uh, we don't make any of those in this country. They're made overseas and uh, you order one and 18 months to two years later, they will deliver it. Uh, our power grid is very vulnerable. It is very much on the edge. Our military knows that. You know, one of the things I think of is, is in the event of a disaster, what do people do? They flock to the stores. They buy up all their staples and water. So your, your store will be empty faster than it's ever been empty before. When this, when this thing happens to this country, all financial support will be taken away from us. There'll be no financial support. We have to learn how to live without money. And uh, the guy in the country is the one who's going to do this. A rural area is not a fruitful area for terrorism. The terrorists are going to be looking for the biggest bang for their buck they can get, the highest yield of death. And that's exactly why they mention such things as malls and uh, stadiums and where there are going to be large concentrations of people. So there are a number of events that could create a situation in the cities where civil unrest would be a very high probability. And I think that those who can and those who understand need to take advantage of the opportunity when these winds of strife are not blowing to move their families out. I'll tell you something else about this. It's just plain fun. When you're looking at the challenge of what do I have to do so that I'm independent of the system? We need to get out. A storm is coming, relentless in its fury. Are we prepared to meet it? Hi, I'm Edwin, and this is my brother, John. And we want to welcome you to Bountiful Blessings Farm. We really are bountifully blessed to have this farm, our small organic farm here nestled in the, the hills of Middle Tennessee, um, where we farm just under four acres. You see all that pressure there. There's no pumps or anything. That pressure is strictly due to gravity flow. Obviously, the holding tank is above the level of our garden area here, and so the nice pressure you see there is due to the difference in height. Uh, this is our fuel for heating and also for cooking. Yes. These solar panels are collecting energy from the sun and sending that DC electricity down through this combiner box where all the wires from these solar panels are combined, and then it sends it into our cabin, into the power room, where it charges our batteries. Let's go inside and see what our alternative energy system looks like. Okay, we're gonna put the last jar in the bottom. We're gonna put this on so that we can put the next row on top, and we only have one more jar. Alrighty, this is our woodshed, and as you can see, we've got our winter supply of wood in. And uh, we had some friends and neighbors help us get our wood in, but we did a lot of this ourselves. And um, it was a new experience for us. We had never used a chainsaw before, but we learned how, and this is the result, the fruit of our labor. <laughs>